Hello, Timeless Beauty Lessons Nation. How is everybody today? Um, I happen to be um, putting together my Avon order for my customers, um, and I actually have a huge um, representative order this time. Um, it's, it's, I do a lot of e-store business, um, so this is kind of a different change for me. I have a huge representative order that's uh, going in this time, and I just was going to put it together with you guys, maybe have um, some people to talk to while I do it, um, show you how I put my orders together for customers. Hey, Rebecca, how are you? And Chelsea, I see, is watching. But what I was going to do today is show you how I put my orders together for my customers customers and hopefully get some of your tips and tricks on how you do it and how you keep your business organized as well because as I said I do a lot of e-store business I don't necessarily do so much um, packaging and delivering orders anymore um, and this was kind of a fluke it was crazy um, my husband it, it never fails it never fails um, I had just placed uh, my personal Avon order and my husband's like hey I need masks and it literally had just come that day and I'm like man I don't want to place another order and be responsible for all of that shipping all on my own so I just made a fluke Facebook post to see if um, anybody else wanted anything basically to help me um, you know account for some of that shipping cost to break it up between the customers um, and it just blew up I, I left the post up for like maybe um, maybe a day and I had a $400 add-on order together with my customer. So I just got it in. I was going to put it all together. So if I, if you do things differently with your orders, I would love for you to tell me in the comments how you do it, how you keep yourself organized, how you keep your business records organized, uh, because that's something that I want to be super good at, but it's something that I really struggle with is... Um, Keeping my business records organized is like literally my least favorite part of the business. Um, but if you have a special tip or trick, I know a lot of you out there have been doing this a lot longer than me. Um, I would love to see it. But this is just how I do it. Um, so I printed out the invoice. Um, these used to come in our boxes, but I printed this out um, on my back office under Manage Orders and Invoicing. And then it gives me the packing list breakdown right here. So I just kind of go through first. Um, and see if anything is missing. So I just am going to do this right now. Hey, Candy, how are you? Um, so I'm seeing two disposable masks on this packing list. So I'm going to get just take a little pen and mark this off. And then I can take this inside of my back office. Okay, and this says I need to have three disposable masks. And I know my husband already took his. So uh, we definitely had three. So I can take this information. Um to my back office if something is missing, plug it in and tell my back office what product was actually missing and then it will print it right there on my invoice for me that it's coming back in um, the next with the next order or whatever so that my customer knows. Um, so we're just gonna kinda go through here to make sure that nothing is missing. It's gonna, it says I have 19 um, antibacterial gels in cucumber melon. So let's, Go ahead and get all of the gels out. What's everybody's plans for Memorial Day today while I'm doing this? How's everybody doing? Is, it, is everybody going to be enjoying the beautiful weather? This is um, on my list for right now. And then we're going to head swimming over at the pool later today after my husband gets off work. He works um, in my family's grocery store in the meat department. So he's an essential employee. And he was wearing um, some cloth masks to work, and he said it was, like, super hard for him to breathe in them. So he, um, he asked me to order him some of the disposables in, and he says they're so much more comfortable, and they're, they're easier to breathe in. And so I'm just getting out all of my senses hand gels just to make sure that we don't have any missing. This says I should have 19 cucumber melon in here. So let's just count how many we have so far. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Those are 15. Oh, here's some more. 16, 17, 18. 
Hi, Robin. How are you? And Melissa. Oh, no. Melissa says she can't hear me. Can everybody else hear me okay? Ah, uh, there's some more cucumber melon. Oh, I have to tell you guys this. I'm kind of going off on different um, tangents here, but I got some of the clear brochure bags um, because as I noted earlier, I do a lot of e-store sales and I had been ordering uh, 10 to 20 brochures every campaign while well, I wasn't using them because my customers, um, my customers elect to add a brochure for free on my e-store when they place their order. So I wasn't using um, a lot of my brochures. So I have like a ton, I have like 300 old brochures. So I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna put them in these, um, these uh, brochure bags and either hang them on doors in different neighborhoods. Um, I actually um, am going to probably go to a different area than what I live in to do this. Um, just because my team, I like to leave um, some sales and some new customers for my team members that live in my particular area. So I'm going to kind of go outside the area and either toss these in the driveway or hang them on doors just because I have so many old brochures right now um, laying around and I don't want to just throw them away. But I would never, never buy hundreds of brochures just to toss out if I um, am not going to be able to gather contact information as well. So is this how everybody else uh, separates your order? I'd love to hear and you tell me how you do it. So I'm going to count my cucumber melons now. Okay. So it is looking like I have all of the cucumber melons that I need. Um, and then I am looking for some cloth masks. I'm going to go through and check the comments too. Hi, Jane. Hey, Mary. How's everybody doing? Going to eat at the in-laws. I love it. We're going to my parents' house for swimming today. Super excited. I see Marilee on there. Hi, Marilee. Um, and then this is the Cucina hand soap. Listen, if you aren't telling your customers and if they don't know that we have the essential items that everybody's looking for right now, you're like really missing out um, because I was really surprised that like I didn't even, I do all these fancy Facebook posts and um, take my own pictures and try to get real creative and fancy with things and literally like I just really quickly put on there hey my husband needs masks um does anybody need hand soap bug guard you know whatever and it just like it blew up it was crazy it's extra four hundred dollar order so can't go wrong with that right oh what is this this is the defense hand soap so we'll mark that off of our list we had one of those. Uh, we had the clear brochure bags. Okay. Okay, so I'm seeing um, everything in there. So um, if I were just doing this not on a Facebook Live, I would go into, um, into my back office um, to start my invoices and it will ask me, was anything missing from your order, yes or no? So I would click no. Um, and then start to build out my invoices, which I actually already did. Um, and what I did was I took them and I built them out and I printed two copies because I give one copy to the customer and then I, get, I keep a copy for myself for my records here. So I'm gonna split these out. And then this summary sheet is super nice for me to keep track of who has paid because I do collect money when the order comes in. Um, I know a lot of people collect money before the order comes in and you have to invoice before. I just find it easier to do it after. And then I pay for my orders on my cash back credit card, which I pay off every single month. And um, when I place my orders on that cash back credit card, I actually get cash back for, um, for like a percentage of the amount that I put on that card. So that's just a little bit extra that I get to keep in my pocket. So that's how I, that's how I do it. Um, so I just am going to split these off into two piles here. One pile um, is going to go in the customer's bag. And then the other pile is going to be for my records. 
And I love our invoicing tool. I actually have a YouTube video on how to use it to make sure that uh, you're actually making money when you're placing your orders. Um, but it makes it so easy because literally everything is right in there done for you. So this is my pile um, right here that I'm going to save for my records. And this is the folder that I use to keep my Avon records straight. Um, you can see it says Avon on the front. And then I have the business records that somebody um, so nicely posted in another group. And I love that because it keeps me right on track to make sure that I'm making money, although I need to fill it out more. But like you can fill in certain things like your your total sales and, and your deposits from Avon um, for every single campaign. And then you can fill in, you know, how much you spent in business supplies or, um, or demos or samples or whatever. And you keep track of this. And then down at the bottom, you add it or subtract it all together and decide whether you made a profit or a loss that campaign. And it helps you keep track of where you're at financially, making sure that you're making money in your business. And, that, and when you know that, you can decide where you're going to and, and how you're going to account for that, whether you're going to try to push to sell more products or maybe you need to increase your um, your fee um, with your, your, um, your convenience fee. Maybe you need to increase that. It, it, it keeps you on track. It, it tells you, you know, maybe I can spend a little bit in advertising here to get a little more. The, it, the more you know, the more decisions that you can make for your business to make sure that you're running a profitable business. Um, so I keep actually my credit card statements in a folder right here. Um, and as I said, I use a, a cash back credit card to place all of my Avon orders. So when I place my order on my cash back card, I think I get um, 2 to 5% cash back depending on what promo is running with the cash back card. Um, and then I can just take that and put it right back into my bank account. So I keep track of all my credit card statements here. Um, and then here's a little folder that says Avon invoices. So I, um, when I'm done with this C12 invoice, I actually am just going to pop it right in here um, in case I need to refer back um, to how much I paid for something. They're all right here in this folder. And then this one says customer invoices. And as you can see, it's really thin because I don't do a whole lot of, um, of orders, you know, for my customers. So I'm just going to take these second copies that I printed off from the invoicing tool and I'm just going to pop those right in there, save them for my records in case that I need, um, to go back and refer to that later. So that's just kind of how I do things, um, with keeping track of what goes where and whatnot. So um, I am going to start bagging up my customer order. This particular customer I can see on the invoice um, ordered one Skin So Soft Bug Guard and a Silky uh, Vanilla Antibacterial Gel. And I actually ordered some new books um, to package in the bags for my customer. So what I'll do is I like the popcorn bags because... You get so many of them, it's a great value, and you can really fit a lot of product in here. Like I literally have had these forever and I'm still using them. So I pop a brochure in so that the customer um, has a new brochure that they can look at, fill it with their order. Um, and then usually I staple uh, the invoice right on the front of the bag. However, I think my stapler is upstairs. So we're just gonna slip it right into the bag. And um, a lot of times I'll slip some samples into the bag. Um, I think right now I'm going to slip belief samples into all of my customers' um, orders. Um, we mentioned talking about brochure um, tosses um, a little bit ago. I don't typically put samples in anything where I don't get contact information and I don't give away a new brochure to anybody that I can't get contact information from. Um, I, I reserve my older brochures for that and then give them my contact information because the fortune's in the follow-up, right? You have to be able to reach out to people um, to get them to order, right? I've heard that so many times. 
So then um, we have the next customer who ordered the three hand gels. So I'm going to pop those into the popcorn bag. How long do I keep the invoices? Um, I keep them. I keep them handy for myself for a year until I do my taxes, and then I file them away and keep them for seven years. I think that's. Um, I mean, I'm not an accountant, and I can't give legal tax advice, um, but I think that that's what is recommended um, to do is to keep records for seven years. So I just keep them on hand, out of sight, out of mind, but I do keep them handy um, for the first year so that um, it's easy for me to get to and it's easy for me um, to keep organized because if it's not easy for me to keep it organized, it's going to be a train wreck, I'll tell you. Uh, Robin says she slips candy in her bags and for big orders she'll put in the handle bags and candy with decorative tissue. That's a really cute idea. I love that. What kind of candy do you typically put in there? Um, which cashback credit card do you use? Um, I actually have two that I use and I will... Um, put links below because there are special promos for them running right now where I think you get cash back for signing up. Um, but I use the city uh, cash back card and I use uh, the Discover cash back card and Discover has a revolving um, cash back rate so that um, if I use PayPal to pay for my order during certain times of the year, I actually can get between five and 10% cash back on that order if I use PayPal. Uh, so yes, Lisa says she also uses a cashback credit card. Yes, I, I love it. And I, that's what I said, um, with Avon's credit, Avon's credit doesn't pay me anything for using it. Whereas my cashback credit card does, um, you just want to make sure that you're paying off your orders at the end of the month, which if you're charging your customers the way you should, that shouldn't be an issue. Mary, I can't wait to get big orders like yours. You definitely will, girl. Just keep consistent and just do the things. Just do something little every single day to stay consistent. Um, but Jessica says she does it without the packing list because she doesn't get big orders. It's coming. It's coming. I was actually really surprised with this huge order. Like, And like I said, I put so much time and effort into um, creating social media posts and taking pictures and taking videos and creating videos and they get great engagement, which is great. And a lot of times that I, I do get orders, um, but this, this really surprised me because I literally put a sentence up. So um, maybe just try that, just letting people know what we have um, and that you can get it for them, I think can be super helpful. This customer's invoice goes into this bag. Okay, this customer had uh, one vanilla and one cucumber melon. So we'll pop those in there with a book. And give her her invoice. And then I didn't bring my samples down to do this, but we will um, pop in, I think, some belief samples or video. A lot of times, too, like I'll look at who the customer is and um, what I think they would like, and then I'll give them samples based on that. Um, I sold three of these 50 pack of masks, and then my husband um, just asked me literally today, he took these, um, those came in like probably four days ago, and then today's like, we need more masks at the store, so apparently I'm gonna be helping supply our grocery stores as well with masks for the employees. Which is great that we can be a resource to so many people, right? And then this person ordered two of our Avon Defense cloth masks. So we'll pop that in there. And then I just take the invoice and um, usually I'll staple it, which I probably will when I go upstairs, but I'm just gonna slip it in the bag to keep it all separated. I've, so what? Tips and tricks does everybody else have? Um, Robin, individually wrapped mints she puts in there, or Tootsie Rolls, which is a great idea too because it gives it a little bit of something extra, um, but it's, um, it's, um, 
it's not expensive. Like it's not, you're not putting out a ton of money, but it sets you apart. And that's what we want, right? We want to be set apart. We want people to, um, remember us and come to us as their Avon lady. Hey, April, how are you doing? So this customer got, uh, three cloth masks and five of the cucumber melon antibacterial gel. These sold out fast, you guys. Does anybody know if the vanillas are still available right now? I knew they were for a, for a little while. So is this pretty much how everybody does their Avon orders? Am I doing it? Am I doing it right? To all of you veterans, is this how I do it right? Because I, I don't know. I just kind of wing it and, um, you know, whatever. Hope for the best. We hope not to make make mistakes, but sometimes it just happens, right? So then when I'm done actually bagging all of um, them up, what I do is I go through and double check and... Um, just always try my best to make sure that I'm being conscientious and um, making it easy, making it easy for my customers to shop with me, right? Because that's what they really want. Oh, vanilla is still available. That's good. Oh, chapstick. That's a good idea. Do you use the Avon chapstick, Janet? Janet says she puts the um, chapstick in there. And and April actually is doing like an amazing job personalizing some of the masks with her Cricut for her customers. And I see them on Facebook just like loving that. So I think I used my last popcorn bag. So now we have to dip into the um, the, the bag with the handles time to order more bags I guess so this was three cloth masks okay, give her a book I was so excited you guys I um have always heard like what a big huge seller bug guard is and all these people um, are able to sell so much of it. And like last year, I'm like, okay, I'm going to sell a bunch of Bug Guard. And I, I swear, like I had the hardest time selling Bug Guard. Well, guess what? I literally sold my <laughs> first two cans just with this order. I was so excited. Um, tell me about like what your things are that you say to people about Bug Guard and, and how you sell it and how you're, um, how you're really successful with it. I always think that it's super interesting how different representatives are successful with different things. Um, like I cannot give away Skin So Soft myself personally, um, but I know that it's a super big seller for people. Um, and then I know other people um, struggle, you know, with, with skincare. And, and I think it has to do with the things that you get, you personally get most excited about. Um, I think that's something to do with it. Um, I love skincare and I love makeup and I love the fashion. So I do really well with those items. Um, so I, I, I just think that's interesting. You know, what, what you love seems to be what your customers love. And it really speaks to the fact that you are your own brand. Customers are going to buy what you recommend and you're going to recommend what you like the most, right? Um, so never be afraid to just be yourself and be authentic, I guess. So that's my little soapbox for today. Okay. Lots of bags here today, everybody. And then this um, is my last one. So I'm popping in there and she got, I'm ready. I want to see this, um, defense hand soap. Has anybody sold this recently? Look how big this is for $11. It's like as big as my head. Are you crazy? Like that's a, that's a major deal. And I'm 
loving the Cucina hand soaps too. This, I actually think I'm going to take this out of the box um, just because I think it looks a little bit nicer for the customer. I like the boxes, like these white boxes, um, for packing purposes so that the product doesn't leak all over the box and all over, you know, other items. So it keeps a little bit of added protection to that. But I think I'm going to unbox them to, to put it in the bag for the customer. And I, this is my favorite scent, the um, sea salt and lemon of this. Love it. Reminds me of being um, in Italy or the Olive Garden. So, loving that. So that's it. I got some extra uh, cucumber melon. I must have um, been psychic. I bought a, a couple extras in case uh, we needed them. I didn't know we were going to run out of cucumber melon when we placed this order. So I guess I'm kind of glad that I did. So as you can see, I have a, I have a few here um, on hand, um, and I'm going to take these in like a little bag alongside of me with my delivery for the people that didn't get uh, hand sanitizer, and I'll offer it to them, um, and I bet you I'll sell all of them. I'll come back and let you know if I sold all of them um, when I went out to make my deliveries. Um, so it's an exciting time to be with Avon right now. And um, there is an opportunity to really bring in some extra earnings um, with these new items. Um, in addition to the new LG items, I'm having a lot of success with the new LG items. Um, I think the key to selling the new I LG items is to either be trying them yourself or get a customer interested in trying them, maybe at your cost so that you can tell people um, testimonials and tell them what the products actually do for them, um, you'll find that people are more likely to buy and more interested in buying when they know what the product does versus just seeing a picture um, on a Facebook page. I always say, you know, I feel like some people get the impression of just post it and they will come. And it really isn't how it works. Like you have to post in a way that speaks to people and meet people where they're at um, and solve the problems that they're having at that particular time. Um, and I think that's really important with the LG product. So it might be advantageous to um, try it yourself or try it alongside a friend um, or even just have your friend try it where you give her your cost in exchange for her testimonial just that you can tell people what the product did for somebody and that will make um, your social media posts so much more interesting and engaging to people that they're going to want to know what is that person using and look what it did for her and will it do that for me as well so just a little tip there on the lg products but definitely letting your customers know that we have these super um needed products right now um, on hand from the soaps to the hand sanitizers to the masks. We've got new masks coming out. I think it's next campaign or the campaign after for the cloth masks. Um, and then like different cleaning supplies. Try the cleaning supplies. Like who out there isn't use? Well, don't tell me if you're not, but who out there isn't using laundry soap, right? Like why not be buying that from yourself at a discount? Um, trying it out and um, giving it to your customers. And that's what we're, that reminds me, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna put belief samples in these bags. I'm actually going to put uh, the laundry sheets, I'm gonna put them in little Ziploc bags and pop those in there um, and have my customers do a half a load of laundry on me. I actually saw that in another Avon group and it's like brilliant, it's brilliant. Um, because who doesn't need laundry soap, right? And who doesn't need hand soap and who doesn't need bath and body wash and toothpaste and, and we have it. So super exciting. I, um, want to thank all of you for coming and hanging out with me and keeping me company while I box up my customers orders this time. And um, coming here soon, I'm working on a training for um, video, producing videos for social media, how to edit them, how to do the cool effects um, on the videos. I've been kind of working on those. Um, so I'm hoping to get that out in the next couple of weeks. But thanks so much for coming and hanging out with me, guys. Um, and then if you're watching this as a replay, drop me 
um, a comment below that says replay and then let me know how you keep all of your business records straight and how you package up your Avon orders and how you use your current orders to get more orders in the future. I'd love to hear from you um, or make a post in the group and tell us how you do it. I'd love to hear from you all. Okay, well, thanks everybody. Bye-bye.